Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about parallax animation. Parallax animation is when you see certain objects moving in the foreground at a certain speed. In the middle ground, they're moving at a different speed. And way in the background, they might not be moving at all, but they might be moving at a, a much slower speed. So in, I'm in Illustrator right now, and I created this scene. And you can see in the background, I have this set of mountains and a sky. And in the middle ground, I have kind of like this grass and uh, this wild grass here. And in the foreground, I have this fence, this guardrail. And you can see the dimensions of each object. So this, is, this um, artboard is 1920 by 1080. So the width of the background is a little wider than that, but not that much wider because this isn't going to move that much. If I zoom out here, you'll see that the middle ground is about twice the size of that. So it's uh, uh, about twice the size of 1920. And then you'll see that the fence, the guardrail, is about three times the size, maybe three and a half times the size of that. So each of these objects are uh, separate layers. You can see the layers are set up here inside of Illustrator. And then I imported that into Adobe Animate. And I put those onto separate layers. And then the other thing that I have going on here is a mask. So masks in Adobe Animate, if I turn these lock icons off, you'll see all the layers beneath. And then here's the mask layer. I'm going to just turn it off for a second um, so that you can see what's going on in the background. So here's my timeline. My timeline's about five seconds long. And I have all three layers in the timeline. So starting with everything packed to the left, as I scrub through the timeline, you can see the movement that's happening. So the foreground object, the fence, is moving the fastest. The middle ground object is moving slower than that. And then way, way in the background, it's very subtle, but you can see it. The background is moving uh, from left to right. Now, the reason why I put a mask in here is to just um, block off the entire area so that none of this stuff hangs off. If I play this without the mask uh, in the Flash Player, you'll see the actual stuff on the outside, and we don't want it, we won't want that to happen. So to add a mask, all you need to do is add a layer. And what I did was I drew a layer that's 1920 by 1080, and I put it at the top. This object is centered um, where it's supposed to be. Uh, right now it's locked, hold on. So it's 1920 by 1080, and it's set at 00. zero. So it's in the top left-hand corner, and that's exactly where I want it to be. Now, in order for a mask to actually work, it has to be locked, and the layers beneath it have to be locked as well. So once I lock these layers, you'll see that the mask takes over, and then everything is fit inside of that one area. So when I play this in the Flash Player, it actually doesn't play that well. Um, you'll see that if I hit Command Return here, it's going to export the Swift file. And you'll see that it's pretty choppy. It doesn't play that well. You also see that the mask area is defined, uh, but I have some this white space around here, and that's just because the width of my monitor has nothing to do with the mask. You can get a sense of the movement, though, and how it's moving, but uh, it's pretty choppy. So to get a better quality output, what I did is I went to File to Export, and I exported them uh, as video. And what that did was it opened up Media Encoder, and then it encoded the video as an MP4. And the MP4 file is here. And if I go ahead and play that, you'll see that it's much smoother. And with the frame rate as 24 frames per second, and this is the kind of action that we want. So that's parallax animation. Um, sometimes you'll see this um, in different directions. This is moving left to right. Uh, you might have a fly-through sequence where you're flying through a city and things are moving faster in the foreground.
but essentially the, the principles remain true. Um, things that are closer to us move faster. Things that are further away from us move slower. So keep that in mind when you're creating any kind of parallax animation.